Now you can see what I'm going to do. I've, by the way, I've rubbed off my lines, which I know you might not want to do as you go. Just so that you can see it more clearly, because it gets pretty busy with all these lines flying around. So 15.4 is going to be here, right? Okay. Shh. Now what you'll notice is, especially if you've done this, like on your piece of paper and you know, your lead pencil or whatever you're using, it has width, right? So as you go across, I think most of you will find that it's somewhere in between here and here, right? Do you see that? Now, if I go all the way down to the bottom, it's five to six, okay? That's, that's the numbers I'm reading at the bottom. Now, just pause for a moment. Before I answer the question, what should I actually say? If you're between five and six, then if, if you ask someone who's like five years and say 11 months old, if you ask them, how old are you? What would you answer? I would say five and a half. Okay, so at that very small age, you, you might do it in halves or quarters or whatever. But just generally speaking, you'd say, I'm five. Right? I haven't turned six yet. You're not six until you've passed right over six. So everyone in here, in this space here, they're all what we would call five years old. Okay? So therefore, my answer, what age group is the median BMI equal to 15.4, is um, five-year-olds. I think that's the answer. Okay? All right. Let's keep going. Part D. Boys are considered to be obese if their BMI is greater than the 95th percentile for their age. Okay. Um, now, by the way, this is such a better way of doing things, um, thinking about percentiles, because as time progresses and as culture changes, um, the numbers themselves will also change, right? Like everyone here is way taller than they were 100 years ago because we have better nutrition and hygiene, all that kind of thing. So where's the 95th percentile for 19-year-olds? Have a look. Have a look. You might need to draw yourself a vertical line. That's what I'm going to do. Yep. Okay, so when I've drawn my vertical line up from age 19 and I get in closer for a better view, you can see here's, um, here's 30. Let me put it in as a separate color for you. Here's 30 and, oops, I'm a bit, I'm a bit wonky. Yeah, um, 30 would go straight across there. And if you go five units down, that's where 29 is, right? So where does my point land up here? There. Point eight. I'd probably say it's closest to, I'll, I'll get my point out of the way now. Uh, it's close, whoops, sorry. Uh, it's up to about 29.8. I think that's the closest, okay? You've got limits of reading here. If it was really close and you're like, oh, 0.6, 0.8, um, that would be okay. You still read the thing properly, okay? Uh, and it was down to accuracy. So I would say, a BMI above 29.8. That means you're above the 95th percentile, right? Okay, let's talk about this nine-year-old. His BMI is 21.5. Is he considered obese according to this chart? So I'm gonna look for his age, his BMI, and see where, where he's rated, okay? So let's have a look. Nine years old, nine More years old. Pushing. So here's my vertical line up from nine years old, okay? And when I look for where 21.5 is, that's halfway between 21 and 22. So yeah, that's right. You can see as I draw it across to meet, there he is right there, okay? So is he above the 95th percentile? Yeah. Answer, yes. So uh, according to this chart, they would classify him as obese, okay? Um, they're gonna ask the same thing for part E, but in reverse, they're looking for underweight. So rather than looking above a certain line, we're looking below, right? Yeah, you and me both, Akil. So you can see, what's the BMI below which four-year-old boys are considered underweight? So 5% is the, it's the lowest curvy line, right? Yeah, yeah unfortunately, that's, that's not how old we are. So um, you can see, it looks like it's right there. Do you see it? Okay. Yeah, that's right. It looks pretty much bang on 14. So if you've got a BMI below 14, that would be classified as underweight. A 13-year-old boy has a BMI of 15.8. Is he underweight? Let's go across to 13 years old. Draw up your vertical line. And what BMI am I looking for again? 15.8. 
and he looks okay. What um, if you were looking at this and had to make an estimation? What would you say his percentile is? What do you reckon? Yeah, it's between ten and five. Between five and ten, it's sort of a little more towards the ten. So it's like an eight or a nine or something like that. Eighth or ninth percentile, roughly. Okay. Um, okay, uh, we're on the home stretch. Part F, the BMI of boys is considered to be normal if it's between 5th and 85th percentiles. So then it asks about 17 year old boys. Okay. <coughs> this seems relevant. Thank you. Okay, so we're looking for um, 17, so I'm going to draw up my vertical line from 17. <laughs> so you can see, I'm actually not going to draw the whole line. I'm just going to draw the part that's relevant to this question, right? So you can see I've gone from the bottom curvy line, the 5th percentile, that guy, all the way up to the 85th one, and what's outside that is irrelevant to me. So can you read across to the left-hand side, what range would you describe? What's the lowest and what's the highest? 17.6. Yeah, I think 17.6 is pretty much bang on. All the way up to 25 exactly. Yeah, I think, whoopsie daisy, I'd probably say 24.8 is closest, is closest, right? Um, so 25 is close, but I think our graph gives us more accuracy than that. Last one, interquartile range. So you need to remember a few things here. Quartiles, right? The interquartile range is between Q1 and Q3. Now, this graph doesn't tell you which ones they are. You have to remember which percentile is which. So where's Q1? It's going to be 25, right? So you may like to write on the right-hand side here. 25 is Q1. 50, that's the median. Q2. And then, of course, Q3 is 75. So you got your upper and lower quartiles now. So what age group are we interested in now? Age 8. So you're going to have to come over to the left-hand side. And you want to follow. It looks like um, the fourth line from the top and the third line from the bottom for 8-year-olds. Right? Do a bit better. Than that. Okay, so I think this is what we're getting, right? Now remember, it's asking for an interquartile range, so they don't want you to tell them what the quartiles are. They want to know the range. the the difference between those. That's the range in the quartiles. So I need to take the top one, subtract the bottom one. It looks like seventeen. Take away. How do you read it? Yeah, I think 14.8 is pretty much bang on. So therefore, the difference between those is the interquartile range. Make sense? Can you, can you guys make it up? Um, which lines are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so interquartile range is only between the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile, because they're quartiles, right? So the percentiles include the quartiles yeah. in them. You just got to know which one. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and it's a really good in, in question to ask. I need the ages. You can see the graph starts high and then it comes down low. Now, remember I said, the higher the numbers are, the kind of the higher proportion of like fat to height, that kind of thing. But then it dips down. Why is it dipping down? What would make, think about this, what would make a BMI get lower? Yeah, yeah think about this, right? Remember, I, oh, I, didn't, I didn't write it out here again. BMI is weight over height squared. Remember that? Now, I think we're presuming that under normal circumstances, these people are not malnourished. So it's not that their weight is decreasing, but their height, it shoots up, right? So Kieran got exactly right. In proportion here, this has a bit of a growth spurt, right? So this sort of drops down, okay? And then as you go to the right, why do you think it continues going up? Yeah, that's right. So, and that's because like sort of puberty happens around here. So they start to get muscle mass. Well. Some people start to well, get I don't know what happened with that, but anyway. <laughs>